What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we got a pretty interesting Scream 7 rumor to talk about. Now, look, I don't necessarily need to know how many killers there's going to be, and really, this is probably where I draw the line with rumors, where I don't need to see anything after this, right? So we'll go over the rumor. It's from a kind of up-and-down source that we'll talk about as well, but I, I just want to kind of make it clear. I don't want to spoil it for others. I wouldn't want people spoiling it for me. Um, we're probably going to call it at this little line of like, okay, after this, I don't really feel comfortable. If the, if the rumors get more specific, I don't really want to know, and I don't really care to talk about them, okay? So we're going to look at Critical Overlord's tweet, but it doesn't come from him. Scream 7 reportedly will have multiple killers, maybe more than the last film, via My Time to Shine Hello. Now... I was first introduced to My Time to Shine a long time ago. My cousin would always send me her. I think she is a girl. Uh, it would always send me her tweets and like predictions like that. So what I understand from this account is they used to be like very accurate. They were like on it. And what I have seen personally is just more and more and more of tweets from them that have kind of expanded. And I feel like their percentage of accuracy has dropped off a cliff, jumped off a cliff, whatever you want to say. I really think it's fallen. Um, I don't have an actual spreadsheet, you know, to show you that, but the point being, if you want to take it as fact, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I feel like they're kind of 50-50 at this point. There's been a lot of allegations that they steal from other people. So make of it what you will. But if we're just going to talk about the rumor and now remove the actual source, uh, again, this is it. Like, I don't need to know how many. That's the thing because – Here's the interesting thing to me, right? So reading it one more time. We'll have multiple killers, maybe more than the last film. So one, I find it funny that it's maybe more. It's not even like a confirmed thing. How are we defining killers? Because in the last film, right, you had for the first time three ghost face killers, right? Now, I would honestly say like Sam is an honorary member there. But OK, officially she is not right. But you had those three. And then if you even want to go further, in the beginning, you kind of had two. Now, you really only had one in terms of action, but then his partner, you know, was found in the fridge. So, technically, there were five killers, but it depends on, like, your definition because you could say four if you don't count the beginning of the movie, which maybe you wouldn't. Maybe if you're just a, a random leaker, right? Like, you wouldn't consider the opening. So, you might say, okay, the big reveal was that there were three ghost face killers, so it's going to be more than three. Okay, is it more than three or is it more than five? Because those are, number one, different numbers. And number two, I think that would change things a bit. You got to watch out for the same potential problems that you ran into with Scream 6, where, look, when you have, and people thought, you know, at least maybe two, maybe even three killers in Scream 6, we kind of thought that going in. When you have that many, you only have so many people it can be. And I think it was just very, very obvious who it was, for the most part, in Scream 6. And, you know, it's been obvious kind of up and down, depending on which of these Scream movies you're talking about. But the more you have, the harder it is to hide them. Now, again, it depends on how you're going to do it. If there is a cult of Ghostface and four members of them are, you know, killers, and they're taken out very easily... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who they are, right? So uh, there are ways. There's ways you can fall into a trap and a problem here. There's also ways that it's not that big of a deal because there could be six killers. Four of them can be kind of scattered throughout the movie in this weird not who done it thing, but just it. They're just killers, right? They're just like this cult where it doesn't matter. They're not trying to mask themselves or whatever. And then there's still at the end of the day two killers at the end of the movie, and those are the people that you're scanning the cast to try to figure out who they are, right? That that would not be a problem, and that you could really accomplish both goals with. But if you're talking six, seven killers, and they're part of the cast, oh, my God, well, then everybody's a kid. It's not even a Scream movie. It's just like they're just all assassins at that point, and Cindy's just running away the whole movie. So you got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful. And like I said, I, I don't want to know the number. Like, th this is as far as I'll go. So if I ever see, like, a number, if there's a rumor, oh, it's four killers – Number one, I hope I wouldn't see that rumor, but I probably would. And number two, that's where, you know, if you're scared of like, okay, what will I report? I think a lot of you guys have been with me for a while. I don't like to talk about that stuff. I try to take it like the theorizing angle, which I did for Scream 6. I never saw when they showed the ending, basically, of Scream 6. I didn't see it. I didn't know. We just kind of focused on theories. And that's what I plan to do again for Scream 7. Everybody else can kind of have their fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.